The definition of energy as we know it today is a quantity used to describe the ability or capacity to do work with the SI unit for it being Joule J. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going over an in-depth explanation of kinetic energy and potential energy. If this piques your interest, stick around. Our entire world is connected through types of energy, and we would not survive without it. At the core of it, our energy comes from the sun, and I'm not just talking about solar panels. It could be from the food cycle with plants getting their energy from the sun, herbivores getting their energy from plants, and then us getting our energy from both of these sources. Some of the earliest representations of energy were embodied by the Latin term vis viva, meaning living force. However, in 1802, Thomas Young was the first person to replace the term vis viva with energy, and Sadi Carnot and William Rankine further refined this into the modern concepts of heat, work, and different types of energy. The definition of energy as we know it today is a quantity used to describe the ability or capacity to do work with the SI unit for it being joule J, with one joule equaling one kilogram times meters squared divided by second squared. Work refers to the transfer of energy between objects or systems when a force is applied over a distance, with the equation work equals force times distance and is measured in joules as well. The transfer of energy through work can be from either kinetic energy or potential energy. The easiest way to remember kinetic energy is by associating the term kinetic with movement. This movement can be from vibrations, such as when you heat up food in a microwave, the water molecules in the food absorb the microwaves and begin to vibrate, and then that is converted to thermal energy, which heats, which heats your food. The other is rotational movement, like a baseball being thrown. We can measure the amount of kinetic energy an object like a baseball has with the equation E kinetic equals one half mass times velocity squared. For fun, let's calculate the kinetic energy of a baseball at 50 miles per hour versus 100 miles per hour. The approximate weight of a baseball is 0.15 kilograms. Remember, we must convert all the units to the units that match joules, namely kilogram times meters squared divided by second squared. One mile per hour equals approximately 0.447.704 meters per second. So the two equations would look like 0.5 times 0.15 times 50 times 0.44704 squared equals 37.47 joules and 0.5 times 0.15 times 100 times 0.44704 squared equals 149.88 joules. Because the velocity is squared, even though one baseball is moving twice as fast as the other, it has four times as much kinetic energy. Potential energy is almost the opposite of kinetic as it pertains to objects at rest. The best way to think of this is that these objects potentially have energy, such as the book on a shelf. If that shelf breaks, that book is coming down with energy. There are multiple forms of potential energy, such as gravitational potential energy, the book example, elastic potential energy, energy associated with springs, chemical potential energy, energy in chemical bonds, and electric potential energy, energy from charged particles. Let's go over the two most common equations relating to potential energy. The first is E potential equals mass times gravity times height. Hopefully that one is pretty straightforward. Think of the book example. The second relates the to the electric potential energy E, ELP, and is critical when dealing with charged atoms, molecules, or ions, and the equation is E, ELP equals K times Q1 times Q2 divided by D, where K is a charge constant of 8.99 times 10 to the ninth joules times meters divided by coulomb squared. Q1 and Q2 are the electrical charges of the specific species you look and calculate, and D is the distance between the species. I hope this explanation helps, and if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. If you found value in the video, please like it and let people know about the channel, because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. Calculate the kinetic energy of a 7 kilogram bowling ball rolling at 15 miles per hour. Hint, one mile per hour equals 0 0.44704 meters per second. And calculate the electrostatic potential energy of two electrons 53 picometers away. Hint, the charge of an electron is negative 1.602 times 10 to the 19th to the negative 19th coulombs. And a picometer equals one times 10 to the negative 12th meters.
Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.